How to add audio files and sound control buttons to your Storyline course. There are two ways you can add audio files and sound control buttons to your Storyline course. One is easier and uses the built-in Storyline player. The other one is more complex and involves variables and triggers. Watch this video to learn more about these methods and choose the one that suits you best. First, we'll start with built-in player method. This method takes little time to implement, but bear in mind that built-in player controls will control not only audio, but other time processes in the slide, for example, animations. Follow these steps to set the built-in player method. First, go to the player settings in the Home tab. Change the player style to Modern. Now you can change the player colors in the Colors and Effects section. There you can choose between Dark and Light theme, and adjust the accent and accessibility focus color. Select the player controls you prefer in the Features tab. Check the Volume and Play Pause options and you will see them in the Player Preview. Press OK to save the changes. Click on the Insert tab to insert your audio file. Select the file and click Open. Preview the slide and you will be able to see the controls in the bottom left corner of the slide. And now we'll continue with the other variable method. With this method you will create your own custom audio toggle buttons and triggers that control the buttons. This example will include icons from the Articulate Icon library. Feel free to use your own. First, click on the Insert tab to insert your audio file. Select the file and click Open. Open the Icons library in the Insert tab. Search and insert Sound On and Sound Off icons. Now you can rename the icons to Sound On and Sound Off in the timeline. Then create a new variable Sound On Set its type to True False and set the default value to True. Next, create the following triggers for entering the slide. Here is a full trigger list for entering the slide. And here is an example of one of those triggers. Next, create the following triggers for the variable sound on. Here is the full trigger list for the variable sound on. And here is an example of one of those triggers. Now it's time to set triggers for the icons. Set variable sound on to value true when the user clicks sound on icon. Set variable sound on to value false when the user clicks sound off icon. Finally, you can place the icons on top of each other in the slide. When entering the slide, the audio will automatically play and the sound off icon will be visible. The audio will pause and the sound on icon will appear when you click on the sound off icon. If you don't want the sound to play automatically when entering the slide, 
change the default value of the sound on variable to false. Congratulations! Now you can add audio files and sound control buttons to your Storyline course. Choose the method that suits you best and enjoy!